a resolution remembering and honoring our Republican family who have slipped the surly bonds of earth and rest in the loving arms of God. Whereas we enjoy Republican majorities at both the local and state level, knowing such a majority would not exist without hard work, sweat, toil, building on defeats, and celebrating victories. And whereas the Georgia Republican Party wishes to honor our brothers and sisters that helped forge these Republican majorities into reality, and whereas we, the Georgia Republican Party, know that we are standing on the shoulders of pioneers, we acknowledge those who have been called home and await a joyous reunion with us all. Whereas in 2004, John and Wilda Apostle, his wife of 50 years, moved to Evans, Georgia during the Bush re-election campaign of 2004 to be near their two children and four grandchildren, volunteering to manage and operate the Columbia County Republican Party campaign headquarters and continuing to do so during all major election cycles where he was the most consistent and prominent Republican point of contact for Republican voters in Columbia County. Whereas Cynthia Cindy Bonds chaired the Wilkes County Republican Party for many years, working tirelessly to make sure that the people of Wilkes County were represented at district and state conventions. A compassionate woman, Cindy often used her own resources to fund local Republican events, is greatly missed by Republicans in Wilkes County. Whereas Raylan Babe Atkins Byrne of Cobb County was a dedicated worker and volunteer for the Cobb County Republican Party and the Cobb County Republican Women's Club, where she served for years as the membership chair for the Cobb Republican Women and Club President. She was a dedicated supporter of her husband, Bill Byrne, who served several terms as chairman of the Cobb County Commission before he stepped down to run for governor. Whereas Scott Chadwick of Cobb County was an active member of the Cobb County Republican Party, holding many leadership roles for nearly three decades, serving also as a county commissioner and in civic and community organizations like the Marietta Kiwanis Club. Whereas Ruth Cole of Spalding County worked hard for the Spalding County GOP and the Spalding County Republican women from campaigning for candidates to helping with fundraisers. She could be found at every event. Her love for the Republican Party was evident throughout her 92 years of living. Whereas Michael Mack Collins served as Butts County Commissioner from 1977 to 1980 as a Democrat, but switched parties and became the first chairman of the Butts County Republican Party in 1981, elected to the Georgia State Senate in 1988. He was one of only 11 Republicans serving in the state Senate at the time. He was elected to the United States House of Representatives in 1992, serving from 1993 until 2005, representing Georgia's 8th Congressional District, where he earned a lifetime score of 95.73 from the American Conservative Union and a lifetime score of 95% from Numbers USA. This pioneering leader of the Republican Party in Georgia is greatly missed. Whereas Catherine Ewing of Jackson County was a tireless worker for the GOP, combining a dedicated work ethic with a great personality, she will truly be missed and was a superstar of our party. Whereas Harlan B. Groover of Clayton County served our country in the United States Army and retired as a Sergeant Major with 26 years of honorable service, Harlan served as Chairman of the Clayton County Republican Party and was very active in campaign activities helping get Republican candidates elected. Harlan was a man of character and dedication who loved his family and his country. Whereas Judy Harrell of Forsyth County was a quiet, soft-spoken woman who projected a calming effect during heated Republican activities. Never one to shy away, she let others know her thoughts when needed while maintaining a true grassroots leadership philosophy. Judy served the party in numerous roles over the years from precinct chair to county officer, and most importantly, as the spouse of a servant of the public. Judy was one of the few that understood all aspects of the party and how we had to work together to ensure success. The void of her loss will be felt for years to come. Whereas Barbara Hickey of Cobb County served the Republican Party as a candidate and as an avid grassroots volunteer and supporter of the party at the local county and state levels, as well as serving as a House District Chair, delegate to numerous county and district and state conventions, 
and as a delegate to the 2016 Republican National Convention. Barbara has served as president of the Georgia Federation of Republican Women from 2015 to 2017 and as Cobb County Republican Women's Club chair in 2010 and 2014. Whereas Emma Hinesley of Coweta County was an active volunteer throughout her life and was dedicated to making the lives of others in her community better, Emma served as president of the Coweta County Republican Women and president of the Georgia Federation of Republican Women from 1998 to 2001. Emma was known as the godmother of the Georgia Republican Party, helping to organize and run many state conventions, serving many times as a delegate to the Georgia Republican Party State Convention and the Republican National Convention. Whereas Margaret Maggie Holloman of Fulton County was elected president of the Georgia Federation of Republican Women in 1971, served two full terms until 1975, and continued to serve on the board of directors in various positions. In 1976 and 1980, Margaret Holloman served as Georgia co-chair of the Reagan for President Committee. Margaret's strong belief of standing for principles made her a vital part of building the Georgia Federation of Republican Women and the Georgia Republican Party. Whereas Denton Eugene Jean Holton Jr. of Coffee County was a lifelong Republican who tirelessly worked to make the Republican Party strong in Coffee County. He retired from the U.S. Army as a Master Sergeant and served during the Vietnam conflict. Whereas Larry Hutchison was a strong advocate for the Republican Party, he served as Harrelson County Party Chairman for 12 years on the State Republican Committee for 25 years and dutifully served as Chief of Staff and Senate aide to Senator Bill Heath for nine years. Because of his outstanding service, he was a worthy recipient of the District GOP Lifetime Achievement Award in 2009. Whereas Judy Johnson of Jackson County was a distinguished Republican activist who served in countless posts, including service on the State Committee of the Georgia Republican Party. Whereas Tim Lee of Cobb County was a faithful supporter of the Cobb County Republican Party as a Republican elected official serving as the post three commissioner before being elected chairman of the Cobb County Board of Commissioners, Tim set a model for other elected officials to be actively engaged in the local Republican Party. Whereas John Lewis, a Southern gentleman remembered for his seersucker suits, chaired the Jefferson County GOP for many years and served as a delegate to county, district, state, and national conventions. An important member of the 10th district, including serving on its executive committee for many years, John championed and lived out conservative principles as a leader in his community. Whereas George Lohr of Morgan County was one of the founding members, along with his wife Laura, of the Morgan County Republican Party, was active throughout the years, both in attendance and in contributions. George and Laura helped grow the party. From a few members to the nearly 150 active members we have today, George always enjoyed spending time with his fellow Republicans, and he will be truly missed. Whereas Tish Parker was one of the pioneers of the Ware County Republican Party who helped to support and grow the party. She served as a delegate for many district and state conventions. Tish, along with her husband, Judge Tom Parker, was a faithful volunteer serving at the Republican booth at the annual Okefenokee Fair. Tish and Tom also volunteered many hours at the Republican Party election headquarters. She was committed to helping the Republican candidates get elected to office. Whereas Oscar Poole of Gilmer County was a champion for the Republican Party and was known statewide as the man in the yellow suit, it was said that if you were running for office as a candidate for state or federal office in Georgia, you put a stop at Poole's barbecue and elegy on your list. He was famous for his yellow suit at many Republican state conventions where he served as a delegate and was a national delegate in 2012. His barbecue was the site of many Republican events for candidates as well as rallies. The Colonel was a longtime supporter and was known by many and a friend to all. Whereas Bob and Brenda Rice were one of several who founded the Morgan County Republican Party before they started their work, there were only eight registered Republicans in Morgan County and no formal or informal meetings. Throughout the decades of tireless work, Bob and Brenda helped create an organization so powerful that nearly every elected official that could be filled by a Republican was filled by a Republican. They've hosted sitting governors, senators, and several congressmen in their many meetings. Brenda will be sorely missed. 
Whereas Sandy Straley actively participated in the work of the Ware County Republican Party by attending county, district, and state conventions and by supporting many Republican candidates, Sandy would select her Republican candidates and work tirelessly in their campaigns. Whereas Ralph Sutton of Wilcox County was a lifetime Republican who served his community and party well for many years. He served as mayor of the city of Rochelle from 1972 until 2008. Whereas Richard F. Toppins of Rockdale County was a strong supporter of the Rockdale GOP and the Henry County GOP for many years and was a wonderful grassroots activist who is dearly missed. Whereas Donald Weiss of Cobb County was a campaign chairman for the late great Congressman Larry McDonald in the 10th District and worked tirelessly for the GOP and for Liberty for many years thereafter. Whereas Ted Waddell of Houston County, along with his wife Barbara, helped to launch the Houston County Republican Party in 1965. Ted and Barbara held the first meetings in their home as there were so few Republicans at the time. Ted stepped down as chairman to run for state representative and his wife took over as chair. For the next 50 years, Ted remained extremely committed to the Republican Party at both the state and local level. Even after his health decline, he still made sure to attend important events. The Houston County Republican Party decided to honor his commitment to the Republican cause by creating an annual award in his name that is given to a member who has shown dedication and devotion over the previous year. Whereas Marilyn Watts of Fayette County served with distinction in many roles and at all levels of the Republican Party and was a pioneer in the movement to make Georgia a two-party state, Marilyn rendered distinguished service to the citizens of Fayette County as a member of the Fayette County Board of Elections for many years. A friend to many in the GOP, she is greatly missed. Whereas Connie Whitney of Lamar County was a disabled veteran who was a hardworking, loyal Ted Cruz supporter before she became a staunch supporter of President Trump, she served as third district and state delegate and as vice chair and programming chair for the Lamar County Republican Party. She was a true patriot and a Christian who valued Republican principles. Whereas Raymond Wilson was a faithful attendee to all party and political meetings and events in and around the 10th district and was a voice of reason and wisdom during divisive times. Now therefore be it resolved that the state committee of the Georgia Republican Party on this 18th day of June 2020 honors those who have passed from this mortal plane but remain forever in our hearts. Upon passage of this resolution, this resolution shall be posted for a minimum of five years on the GAGOP website in a readily accessible location as a downloadable document.